afternoon, everyone, and Kalispera um, Seolus. Before I start, uh, I would like to, um, to thank you, the organizers, for inviting me to speak uh, in this forum. Um, obviously, what I'm going to talk to you about uh, today, it is the use of, uh, of LPG as, um, as a marine fuel. But um, uh, before I start uh, with, um, with the details, just um, uh, a few words on um, uh, who we are, uh, what we do. We are, we are about um, an association of about 280 uh, member companies uh, coming from um, uh, 125 countries. And uh, we represent uh, the entire value uh, chain uh, from, um, from the production uh, to the shipping and trading down to the, to the final customer. You will recognize um, up on, um, um, on the screen uh, members, we have uh, some of the, of the biggest companies uh, in the world in the, in the energy business, but uh, also further involved with, uh, of course, uh, with LPG. What we do? is um, uh, we get involved uh, with the development of the market and uh, whatever support this uh, needs, uh, we create uh, good practices. Uh, we have uh, codes of practices. Um, we are very much involved in innovation and part of this was also our involvement in the marine, um, in the marine business. Uh, we do outreach and advocacy and uh, we also organized um, forums, LPG World Forums uh, and Congresses, uh, where, uh, of course, we bring all the LPG industry together. Um, now, the, the background of uh, what you will be hearing um, uh, from now, I, I'm sure you already know it. It is the, yeah, the, the IMO 2020 and the regulatory drivers and challenges that uh, this brings. I'm not going to go into the, the detail. I'm sure that um, you know already what is um, up on the screen. And. Um, uh, Looking at uh, all these challenges, uh, we were sure that uh, LPG was uh, actually one of, um, of the best solutions uh, to address uh, all these uh, challenges. And this is what um, I'm going to go um, uh, through um, uh, with you. Seeing, seeing these challenges, we thought uh, this is a project we really need to focus and uh, just uh, the, uh, trying to use uh, uh, the three Ps that uh, we heard yesterday from um, Mr. Chavliris, uh, patience, uh, perseverance and passion. This is what drove us uh, through, through this road um, um, up to now. There are various uh, ways, of course, uh, as uh, you know, of addressing these challenges and, um, and the problems, and you see them up on the screen uh, with um, compliant fuels uh, or uh, with, um, uh, with scrubbers. Uh, but um, uh, for us, uh, the future is more on the alternative um, fuels and uh, the gaseous fuels in particular. And um, uh, we heard about uh, LPG, LNG before. I'm going to uh, talk to you now about, uh, of course, uh, the LPG option. The advantages of using the LPG as, um, as a marine fuel, I think uh, many of you have uh, heard them uh, already, maybe not so much in detail, uh, but you can see them up on the screen. It is uh, very similar to the advantages um, of, um, of using LNG as a fuel option, but uh, there are also some, um, uh, some important, um, important differences. Um, I like using uh, slides or information from uh, uh, others uh, in the industry, not uh, coming directly from us. And this is uh, one uh, from uh, Astomos Energy from, uh, from Japan. We considered um, this information um, as uh, independent. Uh, so uh, you will see up there that uh, the advantages of LPG, whether it is uh, on uh, quality issues or transportation, you know, it's easily transportable infrastructure, which uh, exists uh, already largely everywhere around the world. Uh, or on the storage, it's very easy to store the uh, LPG, or tradeability, it's, it's, an, open, um, it's an open market trade. Uh, so there, there are many things which, uh, which are very important to, to, to have in mind and to differentiate a little bit uh, from, um, uh, from the LNG. Um, companies like, uh, for example, BW LPG, you see that um, they have uh, already told us that um, they see LPG as uh, the fuel for the future. They don't need to, they don't need to, but this is what they believe and this is what they have also embarked uh, on the way to uh, converting uh, their ships uh, on uh, LPG fueling. 
Um, on technology now, what do we have from engines? Because this is a question I, I do receive um, uh, frequently. What engines are there for the use of uh, LPG? Well, there are three types of uh, engines. Um, uh, you probably know uh, we have the, the two-stroke um, Diesel, uh, diesel cycle um, engines, uh, uh, the MIN series, for example. We have the four-stroke uh, engines, uh, the type of uh, Varzilla. We also have uh, gas turbines, uh, which uh, General Electric G um, are trying to put in projects now to, uh, uh, to, uh, to drive, for example, uh, passenger ships. Um, on these ones, uh, to start with the first one, uh, uh, we had uh, the launch uh, of uh, the first um, um, LPG engine uh, last year in 2018 from, uh, from MIN. And uh, you, can, uh, you can see up on the screen all, all these, uh, the details about the specific of this, um, uh, of this engine and what uh, MIN managed to do with this engine. It was a, a great launch uh, last, um, last year. Maybe some of you have uh, already seen it. Um, and there are orders now on this engine, as you see, uh, 2 plus 8 for options for XMAR, and there are four uh, which have been ordered from a BW, and there are more um, options, um, options coming in. Uh, again, uh, I like to say uh, what uh, um, some, uh, let's say, independent uh, companies say about the LPG. Well, this is what they say. It is uh, MIN. MIN uh, can talk about LPG, about LNG, about all the other fuels. But as you see, they are very much in favor of uh, the use of, um, of LPG um, um, in the future. And uh, they see uh, you know, a great potential um, uh, for this. Um, this graph is um, it's quite important. Uh, again, from, uh, from MIN, you will see that um, by um, uh, 2028, the estimates is that uh, all the new builds, uh, the carriers, LPG carriers, will be fueled by, by LPG. And uh, also, in addition, um, uh, the uh, uh, container vessels, 30% uh, of the new builds on container vessels will be um, also fueled by LPG. So it's, it's a very nice picture to look at. Now, um, some people say, well, but is there enough LPG in the world? Uh, can we really base our future on LPG? Yes, there is. There is. Uh, there has been um, a, a very significant increase in production, um, 308 million tons in 2017. Uh, we estimate about 360 to come to 2027. Uh, you see it's coming from the U.S., it's coming from China, Saudi Arabia, and many other countries to come in. Um, where can we bunker? Where can we find the, the fuel? Well, virtually now everywhere, because one of the advantages of LPG is that it exists everywhere. There is no place in the world where you cannot find LPG, not necessarily for marine, but for, for everything. It's a, it's a product, it's a fuel that we can find everywhere. And um, import-export terminals can already uh, serve as uh, bunkering facilities, bunkering points. Uh, we say there are more than uh, 1,000 um, around the world. Others say, no, it's more than 1,300. Well, it's not the number which is important, it's, but wherever you go, you will find, um, you will find a, place, uh, a place to bunker. Um, this is another slide again from, uh, from uh, Astomos, uh, just comparing LNG with, uh, with LPG. Um, <clears throat> bunkering options, um, you know it uh, uh, better than me. Uh, we have uh, the options of, um, of uh, short to ship, uh, we have uh, ship to ship, uh, barge to ship, and we have, of course, the options of um, uh, road tankers uh, to ship as uh, it is done already for LNG in, um, uh, in some places. Now, um, for uh, specific the bunkering options, because again some people were asking me even um, even in this forum, uh, we are preparing a new report in the association uh, which will come out um, uh, this year uh, with maps, uh, with locations, with specific details. Where can I find really the uh, the, the LPG to uh, to bunker? Um, now uh, on issues, for example, of uh, of costs, comparable costs. Um, we know, we saw about uh, LNG. Yes, it's a great option, uh, LNG, and we are very much in favor of the gaseous fuels. But some of the differences between LPG and LNG, yes, LPG is simpler. LPG, the cost of, um, of uh, conversion or um, new build of um, um, an LPG uh, fuel ship, uh, it's smaller than, uh, than LP, an LNG. We have, uh, of course, uh, uh, smaller paybacks. Uh, uh, pricing now it is uh, it's very competitive. It was not in the past, but um, now it is. 
um, infrastructure, as we said, uh, you know, exists uh, everywhere. So uh, there, are, there are many, many things uh, which, uh, small things maybe, that differentiate the LPG from the LNG. Every, every fuel has its place, but there are some specific uh, points uh, which we consider as advantages, if, um, if you wish. Now, um, looking at uh, CAPEX, these are some indicative graphs on the costs of uh, LNG compared to LPG or to um, other, to methanol, for example, which is, uh, which is quite lower. And here is some payback periods just indicatively uh, uh, as slides. Um, another one about the pricing, um, but uh, I will not say to that. So what, what does the future look like for, for us, for, for LPG, for the shipping industry? Um, and for LPG fueled uh, ships. Um, I mentioned before that um, uh, the, the new MIN engine was uh, launched um, uh, last year, uh, a great uh, engine, and uh, we see now um, orders for this engine. Uh, first uh, started with, uh, with Exmar, who has ordered uh, two uh, new builds. They are, they are being built at the moment. Um, we have uh, BWLPG, which uh, is uh, working on the conversions of, uh, of existing uh, ships. Um, we have another one lately, which come, came up from, uh, from China. Yeah. Seven, 17, 17 uh, uh, engines are on order, including the, um, the options. And so many other things, um, a lot of other activity from uh, Korea, from uh, uh, from CMM, uh, from Kawasaki, we see here, from Mitsubishi, looking at uh, these options and designing their ships. So uh, the benefits in a nutshell, you can see them up um, um, on the screen. It's an excellent product, uh, excellent burning, handling um, uh, properties, infrastructure, infrastructure as we know already developed for LPG, uh, lower installation costs. Uh, um, uh, another differentiation to this product is not cryogenic, so we don't need to bother about this uh, technology. Very simple, lower maintenance, and of course for LPG carriers it saves bunkering, uh, bunkering time. So for whoever wants to read some more, you will find outside um, uh, the Charter of Benefits, as we call it, which uh, details some options. And can I have the last slide, please? Yes, and, uh, and another report uh, which uh, also indicates uh, details about uh, what types of applications, what ships we can use uh, LPG. And that's all for me. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you.